It is now my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, who is one of our own. Ambassador Philip Sanchez served as U.S. Ambassador to Colombia and Honduras. Ambassador Sanchez was selected by Hispanic Business Magazine as one of the 100 most influential Hispanics. He is the son of Spanish-speaking Mexican migrant workers and attended Colinga College, now West Hills College, Colinga. Ambassador Sanchez has served on many boards, including the governing board of the California State Community Colleges, trustees of California State Colleges, and National Hispanic University. Ambassador Sanchez, before you begin your address, let me say, welcome home. Do not let the size of this folder scare you, because Dr. Duallen told me, be on time, be brief, and be gone. 2010, wow, it's pretty hard to believe that I was here around 65 years ago. And I'm glad to be here for the very obvious reasons that I really feel like I'm back home. Everybody, everybody, sooner or later, has a claim, some claim to fame. Mine is that I too went to a Kalinga campus. This is from the, from the uh, Cuban uh, author Marti about putting up with things. He said, it's called La Rosa Blanca, the white rose. He said, cultivo una rosa blanca en enero como el verano para el amigo sincero que me da su mano franca y para el cruel enemigo que mi corazón arranca ni espinas ni dardos cultivo cultivo una rosa blanca now what did i say i'm growing a white rose in january just as in the summer for that very sincere friend who gives me his hand in friendship but for that cruel enemy who would tear my heart out by his roots, I grow not thistles, not brambles, not thorns. For him, I grow, I grow a white rose. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight you begin a very, very, very marked period, milestone of growth in your life. Don't let it be the last one. Grow in the love of your community grow in the love of your family, grow in the love of your country, whatever that country may be, and above all, my young brothers and sisters, grow a white rose. It was so good of you to invite me to Kalinga. You ought to do it again. Thank you, thank you very much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. enough stories uh, and facts and data about community colleges. I was on the community college, the first community college state board in 1968. We had 83. I think now there's about 122. And there are a lot, in those days, anybody would go to community college if, quote, they wanted a cheap education. It's not cheap anymore. I mean, it may be inexpensive relatively, but it's good education. The, the bridge is a community college. The entrance into the academic sphere, the entrance into athletics, everything that a four-year college has. Uh, well, I'll tell you what it was like. It's not like it is now. Believe it or not, I remember the professors. Why they came here, how they came here, but they were top-notch scholars and they really got to us. They wanted to make sure we understood we were not here at a little branch university, branch college, we were here to study. I never forgot that. And it gave me a real appreciation for what you can find in a community college if you want to. You know, I was in the band here, and uh, it was a small band, but I was one of the drummers in the band. 
And in those days, there were a couple of kids on campus. They were humans. They didn't really take too kindly to the idea of a, quote, Mexican being on their campus. And uh, the band, at every year's band show, had one very particular piece they used to play that had a very difficult drum solo, and that was always assigned to me. And I was very happy to have that drum solo. So every time the band was going to play, these two kids would tell everybody, oh, yeah, they're going to play that song with the cholo solo in it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they thought they were going to make me mad. You know, I thought it was kind of clever. I thought it was kind of cute. And I've gone through a life never being bothered by nicknames or slurs or whatever. Life is too short. Yeah, that's right. Graduates, please move your tassel from the right side to the left.